Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Molly, it's the weekend. I know, huh? I feel like a total sloth. Very slow moving and basically sometimes not moving at all. Yeah, exactly. Girls, girls! Uh-oh, here comes Miss Busy Bee. You mean Miss Queen Bee. She makes us do all the chores on the weekends. Ugh, I hate it. Okay, girls, I have a checklist of all the things we need to complete today. What? No, Mom, we don't want to do anything. It's Saturday. Actually, girls, that's why we're doing everything, because during the week we have a bunch of things to do, school and after-school activities, sometimes attention for you, Molly, and a bunch of other things, like, I don't know, getting groceries and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> it's never-ending, really. And I need your help. Mom, no! It's the weekend! I refuse! Okay, well, then you just be grounded. Oh, I don't refuse. Mom! All right. DC, you do the laundry. Molly, you do some vacuuming. Blah! This is so annoying! Why does my mom always make me do all the vacuuming every single weekend? <sighs> Watch out, Molly! I'm, you almost ran into me. I almost dumped the laundry everywhere. Molly, why are you... Are you trying to run around me in circles and make me dizzy? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I, I, I really need you to stop doing that. I have to check things off my checklist. I'm gonna get you with the vacuum, Mom. I'm gonna get you. Molly, I need to do these dishes. Stop! Molly, you and your twigs. So what is it? This is insane. Why is it that we always have to work all the time? What is wrong with Mom? She's the only mom that makes kids do chores on the weekends. I swear it. Well, what are you thinking, Molly? Well, I have this spell book from the library at school. Oh, no, that's a horrible idea. Actually, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could cast a spell and see what Mom's thinking. How are we going to do that? We can go inside her brain! Ew, gross! It's probably squishy in there. Exactly! <laughs> All these chores would make anybody's brain squishy. So are you in? I guess, Molly. But I still say this might be a bad idea. Sure beats doing all the laundry, though, doesn't it? Sure does. Molly, I don't hear that vacuum running. That's because I'm about to cast a spell on you, Mom. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. No such thing as spells. We'll see about that. Alakazam. Alakazane! Let's shrink down and go inside Mom's brain! Molly, it's working! What's going on, girls? Why are you so tiny and keep getting smaller? Just hold still, Mom. This won't hurt a bit. Whoa, this is crazy! I think I'm going to throw up. Yep, definitely. Blech. No wonder it's squishy in Mom's brain. There's throw up for Molly everywhere. Ew. Whoa, look at all these things on Mom's checklist. Hardware store. Clean the entire house. Get groceries at Walmart. Oh, my God. She's got so much to do. No wonder she's stressed out. What are we doing at Lowe's? I don't know, Molly, but it's dark in here and kind of creepy. Oh, man. Oh, I got here after they closed. Oh, no. Now how am I ever going to find what I need? Let's see. Screws, nuts, and bolts. <laughs> I always say that Dan has a screw loose. <laughs> now he has me here in the nut, screw, and bolt section looking for new screws for the treadmill because it broke and I have no idea what I'm looking for. <sighs> Daisy, what was that? Are you, are you hungry? No, Molly, and if I was, the only thing I could eat would be Mom's brain, which would make me a zombie. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, seriously, I heard something really creepy in here. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. What was that sound? Oh, it's probably the sound of my stomach. Hello? Is anyone there? I really need these screws for the treadmill. How am I going to work out? 
Ugh, I hate when Dan sends me on these trips to Lowe's. No idea what I'm looking for. <laughs> Ooh, look at this flooring. I could totally use a new floor in my bathroom. <laughs> I hate that 1980s carpet. It has to go. <laughs> tweet, tweet. What, what was... Ah! What is that? It's a, it's a, a skeleton bird? What, what's our skeleton bird doing here? Ah, get away from me. <laughs> I always fly in here with my flock, and then they close the doors and I can't get out, and I'm hungry. And guess what? <laughs> I ran into one of the windows, and <clears throat> that was the end of me. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Uh, maybe uh, I can hide up here in these refrigerators because you're freaking me out. Get away from me. <laughs> I just want to finish my chores. And there's a skeleton bird chasing me all over Lowe's. It's not my fault they locked you in here and you flew into a window. Maybe you need a bigger brain. What? Did you call me a little tiny brain? Yeah, I did. Minuscule, tiny little brain. Okay, wait. I have to find the door before I make these sorts of comments. Now leave me alone. I just wanted a friend. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Yeah, tell me about it. Mom's trip to Lowe's was weird and creepy. Who knew that birds flew in there? I do. I hear them tweeting every time Dad takes me to the hardware store. Yeah, well, who knew they got trapped in there? Yeah, I think that bird met his end in a sad kind of way. Daisy, I think we're leaving this memory! Whoa! Daisy, are we giant strawberries? I think we are, Molly. What's this all about? Oh, so many chores. So, so many chores. Dishes and cooking and cleaning. Taking care of the girls. Doing laundry. Um, I think this is my, how mom feels about her life. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Look at this kitchen, Molly. It's like a giant abbey. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Where do we go next? I'll lead the way. I'm Head Strawberry Heel. <laughs> head Strawberry. Mm, this is delicious. Don't eat anything in the kitchen. I have to save it for that party for the girls. Molly's birthday party is coming. I have to make lots of treats. Wow, Mom's freaking out. Well, it sounds like she's just stressed out because she's got a lot of things. Ah! I died in Mom's kitchen brain! Molly, you need to be more careful. That's not how the memory goes. And if you die, you might change Mom's memories. Oh, I see what she's doing for my birthday party. S'mores! Remember that birthday, Molly? Yeah, I do. It was amazing. We camped out in the backyard. We made s'mores. Mom made apple pie. Oh, it was so delicious. Ew, watch out for the rotten bananas. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, my gosh. One touch me. Ah! Oh my gosh, ah! I don't want to die, I don't want to die! Oh, man! Molly, what did I say? Don't keep dying! Okay, it's not easy when you're trying to dodge these giant rotten bananas. And what's that on the on the counter? I think it's where one of the, the bananas melted. Ew, gross! I have so much to do. I don't have time for all of this! My life feels like one giant rotten banana! I'm always cleaning and cooking! Wow, Mom needs a vacation. You're not k kidding, Molly. Watch out for those rolling pins. <laughs> They'll flatten you. Molly, get off the dough. It's hot. Just trying to get it out of the oven, I guess. Like guacamole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Oh, my goodness, Molly. You're dying so many times. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Just got to stay on this rolling pin. Wait, are we going to ever escape this kitchen? Uh, yeah. I think if we go to a different memory, everything will be cool. Okay, well, how do we do that? I think we just have to think about it. Or maybe Mom does. Mom, send us to a different memory! Whoa, I think she heard us! Huh? we're at Walmart. Mom must need groceries. I hate Walmart. I hate it so much. Why would you hate Walmart? Walmart's amazing. Hey, open the doors. <laughs> For a minute, I thought they were closed. Oh, look, there's other people shopping. It doesn't matter if you come in here at 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. There's always somebody shopping at Walmart. La 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 la. Ooh, do they have my favorite cereal? Homer's Cinnamon Donut. Ooh, I love that. 
I am more of a sugar smacks kind of girl. Yeah, I like them both. I hope mom gets these when she's at the grocery store. Oh my gosh, the shelves are empty. Must be they're having a supply chain issue again. Oh, mom, don't freak out. I think she is freaking out, Molly. Whoa, look at all the computers. Molly, don't stand on them. What are you, crazy? Hey, look, there's somebody climbing at the top of the shelves. These are the people of Walmart. Save great um, and do all the things at Walmart. Daisy, what are you singing? Ah! Does anybody notice these people of Walmart look a little bit like zombies? Ah, they are zombies! These are the people of Walmart. Save and look great at Walmart. I think they look like zombies, Mom. And why is Mom here when they're zombies? Um, just a newsflash. Every time I've been to Walmart, there's somebody that looks like a zombie there. Ugh, totally brain dead. Molly! I'm just saying. And they're usually wearing pajama pot bottoms, too, with Spongebob on them. <laughs> ah! They're all after me! All the Walmart workers are after me. I don't think those are workers, Molly. I think those are customers. Well, they can't have the last box of sugar smacks. Those are mine! Molly, I think they actually took the last box. Gosh, no wonder Mom's so stressed! She's got to fight all these people at Walmart for the last box of sugar smacks! Ah! Molly, let's get out of here! I don't like it in Mom's brain! Not even a little bit! Ooh, they have a sale on Kick cereal. Nah, I don't like that one. Ah! We're heading back out of Mom's brain! Girls, did you just go inside my brain? Ah, that was creepy! And it's also making my ears really itchy. Ah! Ah! Mom, it's okay. We just wanted to see why you were so crazy sometimes. Yeah, Mom. You get cray-cray about chores and all sorts of things. And we just wondered why. Now I know why. It is crazy town in there. Uh-oh, the shrinking of magic is wearing off of me. Are you saying I'm crazy? No, I'm just saying you've got a lot on your plate, Mom. Molly, you're full grown again and totally standing on the counter. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Mom, what I'm trying to say is maybe there's a compromise here. We'll help you do chores since your life seems pretty busy and stressful as a mom. Oh, wow, thanks. But only for two hours on Saturday. Then the rest of the weekend is for fun. All right, but you still have to take a bath before school on Sunday night and wash behind your ears. Of course, Mom, of course. Mom, we're sorry we gave you a hard time. Your life seems tougher than I thought. That's why I'm never growing up. Not ever! Oh, man. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Hi. Yes, you're late, Molly. Sit down, please. Back in your seat. Oh, man. Where is everybody? Well, Molly, the other three students are home with a stomach bug. Oh, yuck. But, you know, the stomach bug doesn't sound so bad if you get to miss science class. Uh -huh. I like science class. Uh-huh, you would. Molly, don't be mean to Brookie. I'm not. I'm just teasing her. Okay, Christmas is over. No more slacking. All right, everyone, please take out your homework. Homework? Hom homework? But we just got back from Christmas break. Yeah, like a week ago. Where have you been, Molly? Um... She's been here. Well, sort of. Physically, she's here. Mentally, she's somewhere else. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Okay, Molly. Well, I guess you're going to be sitting with me in detention again. You do know that I have a life, Molly, and I don't want to sit in detention with you all the time, right? Oh, come on. Don't make me have Mr. Don't make... I can't even talk. I'm so frazzled. Don't make me have detention, please. Please, please. They should have a, a seat engraved with your name on it in attention, Molly. Molly's detention seat. I could see it now. It could be written right here on the back of your seat. Very funny, Daisy. Okay, well, Molly, if you don't have your homework, then take out a piece of paper and start writing these uh, answers down so you can study from them. Okay. Hey, Daisy, can I borrow a piece of paper? Ay, yeah, yeah, fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready with my pen and paper. I don't understand why Molly never does her homework. 
I know, Daisy, right? Like, she's just gonna end up with attention. What is she thinking? I wonder that myself every day. Okay, so as we can see from your science book, page 105, the answer to number three is C. Can anyone tell me why? Molly? <laughs> Surprise, surprise, Molly's taking a nap again. Okay, Daisy. Oh, there's the bell. Okay, class is dismissed. <laughs> you guys know we have a short class today because we're going to have an assembly later, right? Oh, boy, an assembly. Should we just leave Molly here? Yeah, she'll wake up eventually. Maybe some, like, smarts will go into her brain through osmosis. <laughs> Good luck with that. Molly, Molly, wake up. It's no use, Daisy. She's not going to wake up. I have an idea to find out what Molly's actually thinking. You do? Hmm. I don't know about this. <laughs> what do you mean? My science experiments, experiments are amazing, Bookie. Remember the last time you made that huge explosion? Yeah, but that's not... I mean, I've come a long way as a scientist since then. Even if I am still an amateur. Okay, I guess I'll go along with it. Perfect, because the teacher went to the faculty room, which means we have his science room all to ourselves. <laughs> okay, that sounded a little creepy. Oh boy, Molly, you have no idea what you're in for. Are you sure about this, Daisy? The potion is prepared. All we have to do is each drink half of this bottle of the potion. We will shrink down and we can go inside Molly's head. Finally figure out why she acts so crazy all the time. Oh, I don't know about this. It sounds sort of crazy and dangerous. Hey, you're supposed to be one of my best friends, Bookie. Do you trust me or not? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Click, 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 click. I don't feel anything yet. I'm sure I will in a minute, though. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, I feel strange. I'm shrinking. <laughs> it's working. I'm shrinking, too, I think. Or am I getting bigger? I'm not sure. Nope. Definitely shrinking. She really does have a giant head. Yeah, let's just see if there's actually anything in it. Whoa, look at this, Brookie. It's Brookhaven, but everything's made of candy. Oh, this just figures Molly would love something like this. A car made out of candy and, and cotton candy. Houses made out of every candy you could imagine. Lollipops, M&Ms, mm, gingerbread, too. Mmm, Molly has some delicious things going on in her brain. Look at those! Peppermint... Wait, what? What's that? Is that a... Is that what I... I think it's a... It's what I think it is, isn't it? It's a zombie! There's tons of zombies everywhere! Why would Molly have zombies in her brain? Probably because she didn't want anyone to actually steal any of her candy. <sighs> Oh, so she thinks that all the inhabitants of Brookhaven are actually moochie zombies? That's right. That's all she really thinks of us is somebody who steals her candy. Well, we shouldn't just assume that. We don't know. Mm, delicious. Do you think that it'll cause some sort of, well, brain fart if we eat some of the candy in Molly's brain? Nah, I'm sure Molly will be just fine. <laughs> What was that? I think we can hear when Molly snores or when she talks. Whoa, weird. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't eat too much of the candy. We don't want to accidentally eat her last brain cell. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I'm in Molly's brain. Um, no, you are a figment of her imagination. We're in Molly's brain. There's a big difference. This is all very confusing. Okay, well, let's head out over to... 
some of the other places in town and see what else Molly's thinking about. Besides the fact that she thinks we're all zombies trying to steal her candy. Ah, the pool is made out of hot cocoa. <laughs> Wee! I have to admit, Molly's brain is kind of fun. Ooh. <laughs> but still, we're trying to find out the answers of why she never does her homework. What can we find? There's got to be some reason for this. Wow, <laughs> lots of people are really bad drivers in Molly's mind. That figures. Hey, is that Luke in the ice cream shop? Wait, Luke is in Molly's mind? Are you serious? Maybe she has a crush on him. Don't be ridiculous, I'm sure she doesn't. Let's go find out why he's here though. Oh, hi, hi Daisy, hi, hi Brookie. Hi Luke, what are you doing in Molly's mind? Oh, <laughs> We're going on a date today. We're meeting at the ice cream shop. <laughs> That's where I am, the ice cream shop. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Molly's just so beautiful and smart and, and funny. What? This can't be true. Molly has a crush on Luke? Well, judging by the fact that Luke is sitting in the ice cream shop in her mind, waiting to have a date with her, I would say yes, most definitely. Luke, do you actually want to date Molly? Or are you just Molly's imagination? I'm not really sure what I am, but all I know is I'm supposed to meet Molly here for a date. It is Molly that wants the date. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yuck! Molly is in love with Luke. Ew, gross! Really? You think it's kind of gross? I thought maybe they'd be kind of a cute couple. Ugh, yucky! Let's head over to the school and see what's going on in there because obviously Molly has problems with school. If you see Molly, tell her I love her. She's amazing. Uh huh, sure. Get a job! Wow, harsh Daisy. Well, he's gonna need to buy lots of candy and flowers for Molly. What's this? A, a science class? Actually, no, I, I'm not sure if it's our science class. It, it looks kind of, well, very different. Yeah, it totally does. And where's our teacher? The principal has locked everyone inside the school. And I'm Mrs. Crazy. <laughs> well, now we know what Molly's afraid of. And we know what Molly has been thinking about with school. Absolutely. Lava on the floor. Oh my gosh, Molly. How could you put us through this? Brookie? Brookie! Ah, I'm burning in the lava. Ow! Molly, your mind is so cruel. Me too. Ouch! Oh my gosh. Are we going to survive this? Oh good. If we die inside Molly's mind, we don't actually die outside of it. I hope. I hope not because I've already died twice. I'm going to be a zombie. I just know it. Don't freak out, Daisy. We, ha we have to keep calm. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh. Molly's brain is just a maze of scary. You got this, Daisy. Thanks, Pookie. You really are a great friend. The cafeteria is falling apart. Oh my gosh, this would be da Molly's worst nightmare, Daisy. I mean, she would hate it if all the food went to waste. <laughs> yes, is that the truth? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> huh, what? The science class over? Oh my gosh, I think she's actually waking up. I know, I heard that too. Okay, um, well, we gotta escape really quickly. This is a never-ending maze. What are we gonna do? Maybe we should go back the way we came. Do you know the way out? Um, not really. Oh no, I think we're doomed. No, I think we could just follow the donut crumbs. I mean, pfft, Molly surely has left those. Good idea. Let's turn around, backtrack, and get out of this school before it's too late. Where are we, Bookie? Well, at least we're not in that scary school anymore with Mrs. Crazy. Yeah, but it's like we're not anywhere we've been before. It looks like a pet store? Well, we don't have one of those in Brookhaven, so I guess Molly made up one in her mind. Oh my gosh, look at all the animals! This must be Molly's happy place. Except for the snakes, avoiding the snakes! Aw, oh, look at the little turtles! Aw, oh, it looks like it's Molly's dream to own her own pet. Oh, that's so sweet. I guess my sister has a lot of reasons why she's not paying attention in school. She's thinking about candy and zombies and boyfriends and scary schools and... Wow, there's a lot going on in her brain. Huh? huh? Is science class over? 
Look, Molly's about to wake up. Come on, Daisy, we have to go out of there. Out of her brain, right now, I mean. Good idea, Bookie. I don't know what will happen if she wakes up. She might actually know we're in here. That would be very bad. Come on, let's get out of here. Holy guacamole, that was crazy. Adele, right? Wait a minute, Daisy. You're still really small. What happened? What? Oh my gosh, I've shrunk forever! OMG, this isn't good, Daisy. This isn't good at all. Hey, wh what's going on? Daisy, why are you so tiny? 